Interviews are free. Yep. Why? And, and there's an answer to this. I'm asking a rhetorical question here. Why not interview David Stearns and James Click and Theo Epstein and have them come in and you ask them, if you were to take over this organization as the senior VP and GM, what would you need? What would you want done? The kind of questions that Kevin Warren always says he asks of people. What would you need to do the best job you can do? And they don't want the answer because they know the answer. The answer is you got to spend a lot more money to modernize everything that you're doing. That is state of the art 10 years ago. You need this equipment. You need to triple the size of this staff. You need to triple the size of this group. We need this many more scouts in these countries doing these things all the time. They know it. They don't want to hear it. And they know Chris gets can't and won't ask for it. That's why. That's why they didn't do it. I think we should take our own receipts today. Say the things that the Sox need to be doing with their minor league system. Say the things that you want to have done, the, th the things you know that they are deficient in. And then if those things don't happen under this regime, then it sounds like we've got ourselves a, uh, a place to start. Because if this wasn't sourced in a way where you're interviewing peers and perhaps organizations and systems that are successful, where you can have access to that information in a free manner, and frankly, a Democratic one, because you decided not to interview anyone, then we should do it ourselves. And I'll start with some more numbers again. Let's go back to the Keith Law article from last weekend. 15.6 total war from players who began their pro career in the Sox minor leagues, omitting Jose Abreu in your vaunted 2020 season. That one that you, you talk about so much being a bell cow for this team. The one where you had one playoff win against the A's. Is that promotable? Three prospects in the top 100, one of whom is Edgar Cairo, who, Cairo, who you fleeced from the Angels. The development hasn't been there, but from your head of development. That, that's why there's there's just no qualification for this other than being somebody who's not going to upset an apple cart and not ask anybody to spend money. They one of your spend. first round picks has been more developed on the team on the north side than he would have been on the team on the south side. You traded him for Craig Kimbrell. One of your other first picks has had Tommy John issues. And the next first round pick is the one who's the big pitching prospect. And, and the other first round pick is, is a guy who you've put all over the field and he didn't have time to develop either. And you expected him to somehow replace Jose Abreu's offensive production, despite him already being in the lineup. All you, all you had to do was get these thoughts from other people. Even if he's not going to take the job. Hey, Theo Epstein. You want to just come in and talk? Just just for for giggles, come in and talk to us. And he'd say, okay, well, I've, I've looked things over. And if I were to take a job like this, I would need this, this, and this. I would need, I would be creating new jobs here, 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 here. We're, we're ripping out all of these computers and putting in all of these. We're going to have this equipment at every level of our organization, every minor league team and at a Dominican Academy, and a Pacific Rim Bureau. And the Sox are like, <laughs> no, we're not doing any of that. Come on. Or at least or at least invest in what, who has invested in you. Because the White Sox are so popular in Cuba because of the history they have there. Mm -hmm. And you've heard guys like Yohan Moncada speak about that glowingly. Obviously, Jose Abreu. Luis Robert is an excellent example as he hits his 35th home run of the season last night. Invest more in, in the people who are dancing with you. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I don't know what you're allowed to do in Cuba. I don't think you can set up. You're, I mean, you obviously can't do you what can't you do, do in do the that, Dominican Republic. But you can certainly let people know that you want to facilitate positive relationships that result in everybody winning. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing inspiring about this. There's nothing energizing about it, even though they keep they use that word that he's going to energize the organization. No, and, he is the organization. And frankly, you got rid of the two executives who had the championship on their resume. There also, is. like, remember how how Oscar Colas was going to be up here and stay here? Is that is that a an example of your prospect development? 
And he isn't... Oscar Colas is bad. And they hurried him here because they, they didn't have anybody else in the pipeline. Frank Manichino was your, your big hitter developer at AAA. Who's replaced him that you have confidence in? Frankly, who's replaced anybody you have confidence in when it comes to some sort of <laughs> approach at plates? No, I'm not kidding. There's the question. The hitting approach on this team. Oh, wait, Pedro Grafal's proud of the offense, though. Proud of an 86 WRC plus that's fourth worst in MLB. You know, one I'm proud day, of the offense. One day Why? Every, one day every 60, I work out and actually eat right. I'm proud of that day, too. Okay. <laughs> no, you're, you're allowed. You went fishing yesterday. Are you proud of that? Yes, twice. I went fishing, I came home, and I went fishing again. Double proud. I, I, gotta I didn't teach, catch anything. I got to teach okay. you cats how to waste more time. You know how it starts? You watch more sports. Ugh. Video games. Mm -hmm. We got ways. No, I've got, I've got, I've got my ways of, of you know, I got my puzzles. There, there are things that I can do. I read books. I do puzzles. But it was so gorgeous out yesterday. I just wanted to be outside, and I wanted to. It was so <laughs> fabulous. And even if I don't catch anything, at least I'm outside and I'm standing next to a river, and there's birds around and fresh air. I was cold. The wind was coming off of the lake, and I was quite cold. It was. There were some people bundled up. Ranji and I legit texted about the weather for three days. I'm not kidding. That was the actual conversation. And you say then you're I, not married. And then I saw that he tweets that he threw out the first pitch at the Cardinals game. And I was like, <laughs> I've been talking to you about the weather over text for three days. And you don't bring up an important fact. The fight's on Twitter because I refuse to reply to any of his texts anymore. Because they're just going to be about the weather again. And you and Ranji are that that is that is the that is the most married relationship without actually being married. I can assure you it's not. But it just it just has that sort of feel to it. It's 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 adorable. We're just friends. I know, but it's cute. But it's <laughs> stupid when he doesn't tell his friend that he's throwing out the first pitch at the Cardinals. Well, game. you know, I I didn't I wasn't I'm gonna bother anybody with that. I was yeah. I'm like, so you wanna ask me how cold it is in Chicago because you're like uncomfortable in St. Louis? What is this? Everyone's uncomfortable in St. Louis. That, that, that goes without saying. Except Daddy for needs a sleep. Oh. There's a note here from Stonecutter who says, Chris Getz has been here seven years. His track record is bad. Even if he's just been a remora on the sunken hull of Williams and Hahn, he's hardly distinguished himself as an executive. We can't just say it's not his fault he's being promoted. Either he's done things with the organization, which means he has had a hand in the fact that the entire operation's in shambles, uh -huh. or he's been fetching coffee, in which case he has no business running a baseball team. There's no way to slice this that doesn't make him look bad, independent of Jerry, Tony, and whoever you want to pin blame on for the least inspired executive search in Chicago sports history that didn't involve Bob Pulford. We pounded the Bears for using an executive search firms and hiring Ernie Accorsi and hiring Bill Polian, and justifiably so. But even that process is so superior to what the Sox have done, it's laughable. And you, the, also, too, I, this idea that Chris Getz is somehow this, this feather floating on the winds of fate, you don't get this job in this organization in that 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 weird and uncomfortable Direct. and twisted an organization without making sure the people in charge know this is this is the this is him harvesting seeds that were planted a long time ago make no mistake make no mistake follow the jim boylan trail on some of this one follow the trail of someone who's in the organization a long time who's close enough who has just enough access you know if you build it, they will come. You know, by the way, I, I, I can do this better. I don't know. Like Jim Boylan, you know, where's, where's Fred? Where's Fred? Is Fred around? I don't know. Maybe Fred's not here. I'm still here. By the way, here's my secret plan for how we can be better. Fred didn't want me to do this. That thing that happened that game, I, 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 didn't, I didn't agree with Fred on that one. Like, you, you figure out how these things happen. They, I would they, also it's not like, magic. I would also like to know what happens to everybody else in that front office. Like, I keep mentioning Jeremy Haber, but I thought he was the assistant general manager. That was his title. Depends who's got whose guys. <sighs> you know how this, you know how all, all of these, these improperly run organizations and, and this diffusion of responsibility when no one knows who's in charge. You know how it all works. You get, you get all this, this, this BS succession kind of stuff with everybody jockeying around. Everybody, hey, 
you know, maybe, yeah, you should consider this. Yeah, you should think of this. You, you know, that's that. all kind of antithetical toward the concept of team, correct? Of course. That if uh, if you're all divided, you're not exactly going to produce a good product efficiently. Everybody's always trying to cover their own ass, protect their own fiefdoms. Look at the way they put Griffol's staff together. Look at how that went down. Daryl Boston is a sole decision maker. I'd at least know where he stood. But look how that went down. Who hired Charlie Montoya? When did he get hired? That was, oh, I mean, that okay. was a Pedro hire. Mm -hmm, really? They said so after the fact. Everything was fine after the fact. And then you're like, oh, wait, who's on my staff? Oh, I could, I get a hire, but I got to have this guy and this guy because he's your guy and he's your guy. And then they fire the guys who had guys. And then the guys are realized that the guys who were their guys aren't their guys anymore. So they got to figure out who to suck up to to be someone's guy. Well, the good news is it's shown in the results that they figured it mm -hmm. out, right? Yep. Your White Sox. Totally figured it out. Th this is what falling upward looks like. This, just, this I would love nothing like. more for him to prove us wrong. Go ahead. Would love it. Get after it. Would love a, a press conference where truths are told that are good and activity is responding in kind. But I just am skeptical.